What's up guys? We are back. Another day. Technique Tuesday, guys. And we're going to be talking about body shots. And the reason I'm talking about body shots, man, there's been a few fights here recently. The body shots played a huge part on the win of that opponent. For instance, Stipe versus Cormier. The body shots in that fight were, were amazing and it, and it really helped Stipe come out with a win in that fight. We did a video on that. Check that out up top. But the reason I'm bringing it back up because in UFC 245 was an amazing event. And the main event, Kamaru Usman versus Colby Covington. Kamaru Usman was really rocking the body. And you can tell, of course, a broken jaw makes it does make it difficult to breathe. But you can tell those body shots Kamaru Usman was throwing was playing a huge effect on Colby Covington and his ability to move forward. And Kamaru Usman was keeping his cool and really throwing jabs, crosses, and even backhand uppercuts to the body. And you don't see that in MMA a whole lot, which is why I'm bringing it up. Guilty as charged. Whenever I'm out there fighting, everybody wants to see a good knockout. But now that I think about it, I did this a lot in kickboxing. In order to bring guys' hands down, throw a few body shots. Get them to drop their hands, which makes those knockouts a little bit easier. So that's what we're going to talk about and kind of go over today. Colby Covington got hit with body shots. Kamara Usman, you the man. Amazing job. Let's get after it. So, I got my bro, Sweet T, out here. Hey, He's here to be my dummy today. We're really not going to go over any kind of sort of special technique, but we are going to go over a little bit of uh, some of the techniques that Kamara Usman threw during the fight, uh, the body shot specifically that slowed down Kobe Covington. Because everybody knows Kobe Covington's got a pace like no other. Hint, the Robbie Lawler fight, go back and watch that. The guy threw like a tremendous, like a record-breaking amount of strikes during that fight. When, you, when you're fighting somebody with cardio for days, you gotta slow them down somehow. And it's gotta be part of Usman's game plan. But even if it wasn't, he figured it out, body shots were slowing him down, and it played a huge part in that fight. For instance, they both had their fighting stances. We're gonna start with an open stance just to kinda so you guys can see some of the techniques. But one technique that really came to mind and you never see Usman throw was a front kick to the body. He was throwing a lot of front kicks to the body. And even though it doesn't look like it was a lot of power, it was more of a snapping technique, which really hurts. Sometimes when you pick the leg up and you drive it in, it's more of a push than a strike. But the front kicks played a huge part in that fight. They were moving around and you just go, boom. You know, every time Kobe Cupping stepped in, boom, he would throw a good front kick and Kobe would back up. Not only did he do good front kicks, but he was throwing jabs to the body. He was throwing crosses to the body. Every time Colby Covington would come in, he would hit him with a short hook to the body as well, which slowed down. Dude, if you've never been hit to the body, just jump up and land on your back right now. That's what it feels like to get hit to the body. In fact, to throw this out there, if I get 5,000 thumbs up for this video, I will hit Sweet T as hard as I can with a roundhouse to the body. Hey, it's out there now, so now we gotta do it, bro. We gotta do it. It's out there. All right, don't, we're doing it. 5,000 thumbs up, yo. Round, I'm ripping a roundhouse kick to Sweet T's body. Punch. punch. Oh, a punch? We're gonna roundhouse uh -oh. to the gut. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll go, we'll do a punch. We'll do a punch. I think you're saying punch because my hands still hurt, bro. You know I won't hit you as hard. Anyway, let's get it, y'all. I wanna hit this guy. I haven't hit him in a while. For those of you out there who are wanting to fight, who are training, kickboxing, Muay Thai, boxing, MMA, think about ripping the body. There's a lot of body shots happening in boxing. You see it all the time. Canelo's one of the best body shotters out there. I don't know, body shotters? I just made that up. Words don't control us, no. quickly. What's that what, off What of? is that off of? Comment down below. Comment words, down below. They're just words, they don't control us. They're just words, they don't control us. Show me, let me know. During the Masvidal fight, I was going to the body like crazy. Well, he and kept it, a high guard yeah. too though. So I think that was one of the reasons why I was going there, to get him to drop his hands. Guys with high guards go to the body though, they will drop. Another good point too, which why they were so effective was, you know, it was a five round fight. So it had time for those body shots to really play effect in that fight. You stay consistent with those body shots, they will slow your opponent down. You gotta be careful with body shots because you gotta get a little closer, which is very dangerous. I don't like getting too, too close to my opponent. But we're here fighting, we gotta get close enough to be able to land this body shot, especially when it comes to the hands. So you do have to drop those hands and you gotta, you know, sink those body shots in there. And you, so your defense has gotta be on point. Your technique has gotta be good. Making sure your hands are coming back to where they need to be. 
okay? I like to keep my body shots long, and if I get my opponent up against the cage is really when I start working body shots too, because they can't back up. So I use my hands to kind of boom, boom, to really rock those body shots. That's all I have for you today, guys, today. Just kind of refocusing and getting you guys thinking body shots. Think body shots. Don't head hunt. Work up and down the pole, body and head. After the fight, you heard a lot about Colby Covington's broken jaw, but what you aren't hearing about are the body shots. I think the body shots really played an important part on slowing Colby Covington down and giving that victory to, to, to Usman. Keep ripping those body shots, baby. Anyway, not a really, not really a, a technique technique, but re, just kind of getting you guys more focused on thinking about body shots and really watching that during fights. You don't see a whole lot. You know, the ones that really came to mind was the, was the Usman and Colby Covington and, of course, Stipe, which really changed the fight around. Also, Jose Aldo versus Jeremy Stevens. They all, that was a sick body shot Jose hit him with. So they work, they are effective. So make sure you guys re-implement that into your training, into your sparring sessions. I like ripping bodies and making people fart or puke. So thank you guys for joining me. And oh, by the way, it's Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas to all you guys. Hit that subscribe button, everybody, and throw some comments down below.